I know everything. How do you force yourself to cry or to cry on demand? This is a great question. It's actually a lot simpler than a lot of websites make it sound. Um, for example, a lot of them have up there, um, punch yourself in the face. I've seen that in at least three websites now, and they were the first three I looked, and I, I looked in other websites as well, just to see if I could find anything useful. Nobody has the right stuff up. so. Let me just tell you straight from the beginning, you don't have to get hurt to do this. It does require preparation, but in the moment, you're going to be able to use it and nobody will know what you're doing. Nobody will be able to tell that you're, that you're faking it. The reason people need this, sometimes you need to convince people that you're sad when you're not actually sad. Like, what if you're at a funeral and someone throws a banana peel on the coffin and you have to pretend I mean you have to be in mourning obviously and make sure you're really sad so that nobody thinks that it's you of all people who would throw their used banana peel on the coffin well I can tell you how to deal with this. Um, and I haven't had anything like that happen to me, personally. At all. Ever. So, what do you do? You're gonna need a command word. You are going to need a signal gesture. And you are going to need a treat. Like a doggy treat but for humans. So, here's what you do. A great command word would be, don't cry. You wanna know why we're doing this? Because we need to train our tear ducts, okay? Like a dog, when you say sit, it sits. When you say stay, it stays. When you say come, it comes. We need to do the exact same thing with our tear ducts. We are going to train our tear ducts, and I am going to tell you how. Now, for a lot of people, a great treat that their tear ducts like is donuts. I personally do great with donuts. And for a signal, it's a signal that you would associate with crying. So something that you do when you're crying will be optimal. For example, I put on glasses so that the tears, and I like cry like this, <laughs> cry, cry, and the tears fall down onto the glasses, and then the glass, the front of the glasses get all covered in water, and then you can see through it, and it's like those photos, like, it would be in every single photographer's portfolio, if there's no pictures of fields and flowers and sunsets, then there would be the rain on the, on the uh, windshield or window, and, and that's why you, like, see everything through the rain, and it's really cool, except it's not rain. It's tears. It's so poetic. Moving on. Signal word. Don't cry. Because a lot of people will actually tell themselves don't cry and then proceed to cry. So we're, we've actually already been training ourselves this whole time. We can take advantage of all of this training and use it for training our tear ducts. For example, if you wanted to cry in a situation, you would say to yourself, in, the, in your head, you'd say, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. And then I would put on my glasses and my brain would go, make tears, make cool window effect. And then reach for a donut, which you don't actually have a donut once your tear ducts are fully trained, but it helps. And you just start crying and um, it helps to make this, like, make a smiley face while you cry because, watch this, this is a regular, this is a, okay, this is a regular smile. This is a fake smile. If you're fake smiling while you're crying at the same time, <laughs> it's going to come across kind of like this. <laughs> See how it looks like I'm crying? So with these three tips, you've got to practice now. Whenever you have a crying fit, do the signal word, do the signal gesture or action, and make sure you have the donut because that 
is the most important part. The most imp important piece to training anyone or anything is the treat. I would demonstrate this for you just to prove that it works. Now, I recently changed my trigger action to just wiping my eyes and just and sniffing at the same time as this is something that you often do. But it, for in order for it to work, it has to be coupled with the reward. The donut. Good boy. Good boy, tear duct. That's right. Cry. Cry. Good boy, tear duct. Mm-hmm. And now you see the reward, the trigger action, and the don't cry, which was uh, what I was saying in my head the whole time. Fully works. I hope this helps. There you go. There are risks of diabetes if you eat too many donuts at once, which is why you see people who are depressed also get fat. Because they ate donuts when they were crying. So just be aware of that. You also have the added benefit of after you cry, your tears kind of clean this spot right here. So you don't have to pay for makeup wipes. You're welcome.